Hello YouTube and welcome to another exciting episode of Tech Sport Combat. Today what I'm going to be teaching you guys is how to actually add widgets to your website. Now for those of you who don't know what a widget is, it is basically something like this. A widget could range from anything, any, like anything from an actual um, uh, uh, MP3 player on your website or um, something fun you could play with, a game, um, stuff like that. So for um the reason I've been I made this video is because a lot of people have been asking me how to add widgets to your website. And as you can see right here, I added this YouTube widget to my um a website in the tutorial section of my website to be exact. And basically you could um look through all my videos and let if you like one press play and it just starts playing. It's as simple as that. And just like that and it's super awesome so um the first thing you want to do to actually get a widget is go to google now um the link to google gadgets will be on in the video description but i had it bookmarked so um yeah uh google calls, calls them gadgets some people call them widgets whatever um so basically there's a lot of stuff a lot of widgets or gadgets or whatever that you could choose from there things range from world clocks um, live TV channels, uh, a mini web, clock and date, stuff like that, a map. So um, let's say I want a clock and date. Just click add to your web page. And just wait for the internet. And just like that. Um, so to actually add this, well, first off, you could um, uh, change around some stuff like settings. So the title, let's say I want it to be clock. That you could change the width and the height, but I would leave it at its preset settings. You could change the border. For example, on my text work on bad website, I changed the border to green to match the green theme of my website. So yeah, you could change the border. I'm just gonna change it to green. Um, you could change the clock title. Uh, I'm just gonna leave it as clock and date. You could change the t uh, time format, uh, display seconds, a whole bunch of stuff. Um, the the settings will range from gadget to gadget. Um, and then once you like it, just click on get the code. And as simple as that, the HTML code to that gadget, just right, that, right there. So now select it all, right click, select all, then copy it and enter it into Dreamweaver wherever you want. Um, in this case, I've already entered it for you guys. So let's preview it. This is actually the tutorial section of my website again. There you go, the widget. So now let's say if we want to um, enter this clock. So what I do, I click on split and then choose the place that I want to enter it. For example, I want to enter it right after tutorials. Then right click and press paste. Then preview in Firefox or F12 and save changes, yes. And there you have it. The clock's right there. It says good night. Um, well, actually, the time's wrong right now. <laughs> but um, you could, as, as I said, you could mess with the settings. You could change the time. See, right now the time zone is in the wrong time zone. So, um, yeah. So you could just mess with the time, do whatever you want. And yeah, simple as that. Um, Google gives you the HTML just like that. Um, and there are a lot of different places where you could actually get. Um, different gadgets and widgets for your website. Um, you could get them off of Yahoo. Uh, there's a wide range of places that you could get widgets. And this is just one of them. This is actually my favorite place to get widgets, Google, obviously. Um, well, yeah, that's it. Um, hope you guys learned something today, and goodbye.